Hello guys, like I promised in the last video, the video of the homemade sourdough, today we make a very famous Italian bread, especially in Italy. I don't know if you know this bread, but it's called pane di Altamura. That means bread from Altamura, that is a city in Apulia. To be the original one, you need to make it in Puglia with the ingredient from Puglia, but you can do also in your country. The important that you use 500 gram of uh, durin wheat flour, I hope that the pronunciation is correct, 300 milliliter of water, 100 gram of your sourdough, and 10 gram of salt. Now we put the flour in a big container, we add half of the water, we mix very well, we add our uh, sourdough, we mix again very well, and after we complete with the remaining water and with the salt, and we work our dough very well, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Now we must wait minimum 90 minutes. Probably I will wait two hours because now I will take or I will have my lunch. See you later. After two hours, we put our kitchen towel in this uh, container like this. We put a little bit of flour and we put our dough. We cover and we should wait 30, 45 minutes. And after we will bake it. After 45 minutes, we put our loaf of bread in the baking pot like this. It's already covered with the flour. So now we need to do only a few cuts with the knife. And after we bake in the oven, preheated at 250 Celsius degree. Usually you should keep the oven a little bit open for 15 minutes and after you close the oven and you go ahead baking for 45 minutes. But because this loaf of bread is not so big, I think the total 45 minutes will be enough. And after 10 minutes with the door of the oven slightly open, plus 25 minutes with the door of the oven closed, always at 250 Celsius degree, our bread is baked. But now it's too hot. So because we don't want to spoil it, we should wait that it become cold after we can cut it. So see you later for the testing. Are you ready to hear the sound when I cut the bread? Because the sound will be spectacular. My idea was to eat this bread with the artichoke preserved in 
oil. You already watched the video, but maybe it will be more easy if I do bruschetta. This bread is perfect for bruschetta. So now I cut the bread, a little bit of fresh tomato, extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of uh, sea salt, pinch of salt, and a fresh uh, thyme that I collect when I collect the berries for the mirto. But let's try, you can also eat this bread with the aubergine, preserved aubergine, the sun-dried tomatoes, the mushroom preserved in oil, and so on. Up to you, because this bread is spectacular. Spectacular, especially because outside is very crunchy, inside is soft, with a fresh tomato, extra virgin olive oil, spectacular. Okay guys, remember to subscribe to the channel, to leave me a like it, to share this video with your friends. If you have some questions, some suggestions, always down in the comment. Bye bye. This is the perfect bread for bruschetta, spectacular.